Yeah, you're good to go. Okay, we ready to go? Mm-hmm. Hi, and we are back with our weekly podcast of Insights and Inches. Today we have a really exciting guest, and we have waited weeks to get James Finnegan here. Um, he is the CEO of Inspiring Physicians Worldwide, and he is the, I guess, would you say? Worldwide exclusive manufacturing distributor of the Bell Sculpt. A, bo- a Bell Sculpt. <laughs> And the reason that we chose really the inception of Bell in general has, was inspired by this very technology and by James, who is the CEO of this company. Thank and so you. we brought him here today, and he is so passionate and informative about this technology that has made Bell what it is. Absolutely. And one of the cool things about it is Bell was one of the first groups that came and said, hey, on a, on a national scale, can we buy multiple systems because we see how dynamic the technology is. So, for example, people would come all throughout the world to come to Germany to have the treatment done because they love the dynamic results. So you often hear people talk about um, high, you know, high definition results and, and the ease of patient where the patient doesn't have to be IV or general sedated. And Bell was one of the number one pioneers in all of the world, actually, that said, hey, we're going to make this a staple product in all of our facilities. So it's been fun to watch that because throughout the world, even in other countries like the Philippines or in Brazil, you'll see people flying in from all around the world to have the technology because it is really that unique in how it delivers body contouring versus kind of the, the way a lot of other people are offering it, whether it's lasers or traditional lipo or ultrasound. So Bell really took a very progressive approach. Yeah, and it's very ex- expensive. I'll just let everybody know that the technology is, is much more expensive than anything on the market, but the but what it does for the patient by virtue of results and the side effect profile being so low for the patients is really the dynamic that makes a huge difference in the marketplace. It's the overall res- result, right? Right. It is the best way to remove that stubborn fat. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely true. For a number of reasons. And I, it's been really interesting. It was what compelled me originally, James, when I, the first procedure I saw um, when I was, you know, just coming into Bell, I was taken back by the ease right. of the procedure room. Absolutely. In fact, providers typically, when they've done any other procedure, they notice the ease of use. They're, they're gently moving the handpiece around and the handpiece is vibrating at a certain frequency. And that allows the adipose cells or the fat cells to gently aspirate in. And you hear providers say, I don't understand. This is completely different. If you watch Dr. 90210 or Nip and Tuck where the doctor's ramming and jamming, uh, it's completely different because they're holding it like the bow of a violin back and forth. And it really decreases trauma. And so you can see from a side effect profile, the physician really gets to focus on the results versus focusing on just really uh, ramming and jamming. In fact, one of our providers last week said, the difference between this, this is true precision, um, where when you're doing all the other modalities like traditional lipo under sedation or all the lasers, you're kind of micro scraping the fat cells out, and this just gently vibrates and allows them to go into sterile canister. So it really is fun to see people catch the aha if they've never used any technology out there. You know, many patients haven't even seen what the other technology is, but it's fun, and we tell them to Google on YouTube, hey, go and Google um, traditional lipo and then see the difference. It's really completely different seeing a patient fully sedated versus talking and laughing and joking during the procedures. It really is a game changer from the patient's experience because they can really parlay that back saying, hey, can you do this? Can you add a little more fat here? Can you change this here? Can you just take out a little more here? So the dynamic outcome is they're a part of the solution during the whole treatment. And and it's even hard for providers to, to understand until they see it firsthand how unique it is. Well, and it's it's so gently done, as right. you just mentioned, but it's so, I mean, it, it works. It right. just works. So how is it so gentle but effective? Excellent question. So how this technology came about, and there's a, an old saying that says that necessity is the mother of all invention. There was a doctor on the Autobahn who got in a crash, and his whole practice was based off of body contouring. And with traditional lipo, 1986 technology, where they sedate the patient and ram and jam. Well, when he went under the the guardrail, he could barely move his hand back and forth about two inches. Well, 
engineers came in and said, let's try and mimic the movement. Let's try to figure it out. And really what they found with a specific motor configuration and gear configuration is it would create an amplitude inside the handpiece. So what happened is they started noticing under a certain amplitude, meaning a certain vibration frequency, it would whip at the tip of the cannula. And the doctor said, I think I can do this. Let me try that. So when they introduced it under the skin, the patient was like, hey, I don't really feel pain as much. What's going on? Eventually, they continued to evolve and noticed that he could barely move his hand back and forth. And it, he was getting the same results as he was with traditional having 15 years of experience. So it really was revolutionary. Had he not gotten in that accident, we would not have amazing. The, the technology and how it advanced. And so then they realized, hey, we even have something more exciting happening. It's just gently taking out the fat cells. But as it's whipping, it also takes SVF, which, which is stromovascular fascia. It's the stem cells that are on the fascia band. So now they're looking at it going, wow, we're getting high cell viability that none of the other technologies can get because the whipping preserves all the supporting structures like the blood vessels to the dermis, the nerve endings, and the fascia bands. And so you look at it and you think, this is really incredible how this actual it happens in science, in, in nature. So you can't patent the way the rocking motion works in the handpiece. But when you do combine it with the right aspirator infiltration and vibration, it really creates a unique experience for the patient. Because we have a lot of patients who have had cool sculpting, patients that have gone out and have had traditional lipo and they've had lumpy results. Right. The first thing they say is, wait, I, I'm not getting fully sedated. You're not going to use propofol. You're not going to use Demerol. Wait, Really? And when they're done, they're like, wow, I never thought I would have nice, smooth results. This is incredible. So for those patients, it's fun because they've experienced a completely different experience. And, and then they say, whoa, this is the latest advancement in body contouring. And it's much safer, obviously, because they're awake. They're right. alert the whole time. Right. The fact that we have patients awake and they're talking to us, communicating, that we've got music on. It's an environment where they are at ease and comfortable, but yet something permanent is happening in their bodies. Absolutely. That's such a powerful statement because you tell a patient you can put your ear pods on, you can watch Netflix. Yeah. They don't believe it until you see them do it. And then they're like, wow, this is really incredible. Some patients want to watch, as you know, some people right. like to watch and others, they want to put nice little shades on, listen to their music and then out. And the best part is they're completely alert the whole time. So we can have a move reposition and th th that just creates a lot of sa safety benefits as a result of their experience. So it's minimally right. invasive, but when you look at, at what they're able to do in the procedure, it is really incredible. Well, speaking to safety, I, I want to ask your opinion on, well, we have some patients that say, maybe I want to be out. Like, this yes. sounds a little bit scary. What are the advantages to having our patients awake? Okay, that's a great question. So I just had that question last week, and a patient said, hey, I'm scared. I want to go through IV or general sedation. And I say, well, most of our patients have heard of bad things that happen, whether it's Joan Rivers or what have you, doing rudimentary scopes for neck procedures or what have you. And, and they're fearful because of the research. If you really want to be sedated, I would say, hey, you can go to another facility. But with this technology, it's not necessary. And there's a safety reason for it. And then I commonly will say, are you worried about the pain? And they say, absolutely. And I right. say, well, you know, 20% of our patients are males and males have typically a lower pain threshold. Right. So it's not something where the most elite women that can handle it, that just have an overabundance of, of, you know, comfort when it comes to pain, you'll be really surprised because the technology actually works as an analgesia effect as well. So I ask them, have you ever used a 10 system for pain management? Most people say either I have or my child has or a friend. That works on the same theory and principle as, you know, the vibration stimulated body contouring because as it's going through, it blocks the painful stimuli to the brain. So I tell patients, if you're really worried about pain, let's just see how well you do in the beginning. It's all done under local, just like you've had dental work. Yep. How did it feel when you had dental work? Well, I didn't like the pinch, you know, when I had a little tiny shot. Okay, great. But how did you feel after that? Well, I didn't feel anything. That's exactly how this is. So, you know, everybody does is a little bit different, but when the patient starts the treatment and we see, you notice how we're, we're monitoring your blood pressure, we're monitoring your blood pressure, we're monitoring your O2, you, you know, you're communing back and forth with right. us. We're having you move the entire time. These are all safety benefits for you as well as for us. And so 
when we talk more about the benefits of transforming a procedure that was once only done with a you know general sedation or IV, when they really do understand the benefits, and we re- and they realize we do care about that comfortable nature during the whole procedure, then they're like, okay, I think I'll be okay. That makes sense, right? And and when we get started, when they start with the vibration, they're like, is this it? Yes, fifty percent of the right. pre- procedure is just the numbing, and the other fifty percent sculpting. And I always tell people, I feel like. The numbing can be a little bit pinchy, but when they're like, this is it, this is it. This then is they're it. pretty excited going, okay, I don't know why I was so scared. Right. And I commonly say, because that's all you've seen online is, you know, Dr. Nip and Tuck, and you've seen a lot of the videos where it can be a little scary. Right. But this is completely right. different. Well, and recovery, right? That's another, yes. that's another key component yes. is that our patients are moving and they're up and moving and they sleep off the meds. Yes. But... Otherwise, I mean, the recovery process, the, br- the lack of, you know, intense bruising. Yes. And all the things that go with traditional liposuction, right? In fact, some people will say, do I get narcotics for two weeks? I've had traditional done. Yeah. And we say the good news is, no, you don't need that. Because if you look at them, they'll keep them bandaged for almost two weeks to prevent the patient from being so scared because it's com- a complete bruise in the full abdomen area, wherever they've had liposuction done. And this is true, minimally invasive micro liposculpture, you know, and it's fun to watch a patient when they say, well, in three days, I just have a little tiny bruise here or a little tiny red mark here. And you can just say simply, isn't it amazing in how the vibration respects all the other tissue? It doesn't just go in and destroy. And that's why we're able to have you awake. That's why you don't have to have narcotics for two weeks. And you know, we're all very sensitive to the opiate, you know, issues that are happening out there and how we can build up a sensitivity to those. So people are happy that they don't have to take narcotics. Right. Yeah. You know? And they heal quicker. The sooner yes. they're away from those, right? Yes, absolutely. Your yeah, body, body does better. Now, you, you spoke to this, but um, the even nature yes. of removing fat, because we'll get patients that have had done traditional lipo. Yes. And they have the little areas that are left behind. Right. So we mentioned this, but I want to go over it again because this is such a powerful piece to why, you know, it's good to choose us. So a lot of people use liposuction cannulas in general are between five millimeters to 15 millimeters and they create cannula grooves. So it's not uncommon when someone disrobes and in all of the consultations or in a very private setting, it's one-on-one, someone that's seen the procedures before, sees if they're a good candidate and so forth. But we do see those cannula grooves with all those older technologies. With this, these are all micro instruments. That means between one millimeter to four millimeter. And so they go into really small incision sites. And so as it's vibrating through the tissue, a three millimeter cannula will actually vibrate at nine to 12 millimeters under the skin. So it takes a nice margin or a nice um, volume of fat out and it evens it out. So a lot of people say, okay, I can see what's happening here. They'll look down. And they'll notice just how evenly it's taking the fat out. It's, it's not. I tell people it's kind of like the old style ways. It's like Swiss cheese as they're moving through the fat. Yeah, it's creating holes, but in reality, if they're not really, really technique dependent, what happens is they get really wavy skin. With this, because it's going through and it's whipping in a nice, even way, we can take someone you know that that really has had a bad experience and even it out, mm-hmm. so it's nice and consistent. And that's the number one thing I hear from patients. I can't believe how consistent it is. I can't believe it. This is, you know, we're FDA approved for circumferential reduction. And so we can permanently remove adipose tissue. We don't have any BMI limitations. So whether they're really thin or large, we can really. And that's incredible. Yes. Because that is not the case in other scenarios. That's right. And in fact, a lot of other scenarios, the FDA says limitations of a BMI of 26 or less because it's hard to see the results unless that patient's really thin Right. And they're doing right. really, really aggressive treatments in those. So we have that flexibility for all patients. And we've we've had patients that say, hey, I want to fit better my Lululemons or someone that drives truck full time. And they say, hey, I want two to four yeah. inches or five inches reduced. And they both end up with really, really excited results going, wow, this really is incredible. Now, in this kind of forum, we can talk about, you know, the health benefits throughout the world where yes. we typically can't. Um, in a regular setting because, you know, when you take away the adipose cells, in the New England Journal of Medicine, they published a document showing when you take a large volume of of adipose cells out of the body, the heart doesn't have to work as much. So you have improved cardiovascular function, which always translates to better metabolic burn rate, like our metabolism speeds up. 
we also have a you know a, a an anecdotal byproduct of A1C levels dropping. The, the pancreas doesn't have to produce as much insulin right. to save those cells. Right. So you see that as well, and you also see anecdotally a reduction in triglyceride count. So there are some health benefits. I mean, they're anecdotal, meaning these are these are things doctors share throughout the world, and in, and it's published in the New England Journal of Medicine. So it's kind of fun. Sometimes we look at body contouring, and and our body is programmed from the DNA of our grandparents and our right. and our parents. And sometimes there's areas that are resistant. I mean, right. you see a lot of people, even Stubborn. with semi-glutide, where they're yeah. saying, I'm stuck, I'm, yeah. I plateaued. Yeah. This is a perfect adjunct right. to really address those areas right. that, that they want that sculpting. I love that you brought up health. Yes. Because I think sometimes, you know, it's easy to get caught up on, well, I, you know, I'm a little bit vain. I, right. I, I can handle these areas. I, sh- I should like myself more. But truly, there's two par- parts here, and one is a health benefit. Yes. That um, fat cells do tend to hurt us. Mm-hmm. Stubborn fat cells hurt our health in a number of ways you just mentioned. Absolutely. Um, obviously, the aesthetic side is just loving your body better. Absolutely. And the third thing you brought up was genetics. And that is no matter how well someone might eat right. or work out, they will be left with areas genetically they cannot um, do anything about. Absolutely. In fact... I talk to patients say, what area interests you the most? And it might be the navel area. For women, if they've ever had a child, the body will actually save fat in the navel area to protect the life of the mother and the baby if they have a child again. You see them do crunches. You see them, yeah. they'll yeah. do two a days and they'll go straight, no yeah, carb. It's true. And they're so discouraged. And, and it's interesting because it could have been something their mother said when they were a little girl, like, oh, you'll always have a pro- pooch, honey. And their confidence is shot. Right. So. We created a trademark nationally saying it's not about vanity, it's about confidence because when we feel better, it projects in every facet of our life, professionally, intimately, um, in all of our relationships. And we don't realize that, how much little things can affect us. If someone comes in and they say, you know, I want my chin done, you know, we treat the areas that people are interested in first. And this is what I have found. Great. You know, let's start there. Yeah. They do a chin treatment. More. Yeah, it might take 30 right. minutes. And all of a sudden they're like, hey, if I knew it wasn't going to hurt like this, I would have done yeah. four or five areas. Right. So right. we have a lot of patients that are primary patients, secondary and tertiary treatments that are like, this is amazing. And then they tell their mothers, their fathers. And so it really has been fun. And I tell people as a CEO, there's nothing better than referrals. When people are saying, this experience was so unique. Yeah. I've done something else before. I've yeah. tried cool sculpting and it didn't work for me. This is actually changing how I feel. It's so much fun for me because that's a feedback that I feel really is a testimony of the of the product, how it's working. That's why you do what you do. I love it. Yeah. And I, I've seen tens of thousands of treatments, and every time it's still exciting. Seeing that patient's confidence improve. Okay, it, so it is really that is, is that why you do what you do? Is that where that's your exact, passion comes from? It's, it's totally where my passion comes from because yeah, it could too. be the last procedure that they ever have in their entire life. Right, right. And it's powerful. I mean, just seeing... Right. How they respond, it's sometimes shocking because we, you know, I don't know how much you guys work out. I work out once a day. When you have someone on the other side of the table say, I work out twice a day yeah. and I eat 500 calories yeah. and they yeah. can't lose. I tried everything. Yeah. You know, we, we don't talk about obesity disorder, but sometimes just, just think about one little granule of sugar and how the pancreas can go over to over, overproduction of insulin. And it says, hold those fat cells. We don't know the demons that sometimes happen as a result of a number on, a, on an article of clothing, but it's interesting to see that feedback come back. And I, I tell all the patients, I wish I could record your, your testimonial afterwards because you came in and just had some areas you were interested in and seeing how far you've come, it's a night and day difference. You, you, know? you, sp- you spoke to like, get in the, as far as a confidence level, yes. a parent a, inadvertently saying something about yes. the body or even mean kids or whatever. Yes. And we carry that with us. Big and time. it's a part of our body. And then when we come in and we spot reduce, yes. we take that away. That's what you're speaking to. Yes. Is and just and it could be significant others. It could be a best friend. Yeah. You know, we actually had a patient come in. He was a guy. I felt like he was in great shape. What area interested you the most? And he said, I'm, I'm coming in today because one of my buddies called me Santa Claus. Oh. And and I was like, really, it bothers you that much? And he says, absolutely. I want to have this done. I don't want any of my buddies ever call me Santa Claus. And so you would never have known that if wow. you didn't say, hey, what's the motivating force? Just help right. me understand right. what your goals are. Because we want to meet 
and exceed those expectations and help them to achieve where they're at. And so his were very realistic. I want two to five inches circumferentially reduced. This is, it was very realistic. He was excited. And he even said hey, later, I feel like this was more valuable than buying a used Corvette and, and going out and working on it. it made me feel that much better. Wow. Because it does. It really does. Because we have we live in our skin. Yes. We look at ourselves. We internalize thoughts. Absolutely. And and also, you know, you, as far as spot reduction, James, yes. you can go to a gym, you can hire a trainer and say, I want these gone. Yes. Whatever. Love handles, as an example. Is that even possible? It is. In fact, some people say, is an area too small? And I say, just take your two hands. That's typically one area. And... You can try, you can start with that area. Now I try to tell them if they say we if you ask my opinion, usually if we have love handles, I want you to do upper and lower All abs it, and yeah. flanks because what people don't realize when you just do upper and lower abs, it does look better, but even if you just have a couple inches, it exacerbates the right. view. So I say I think what you're looking for is you want a very nice presence in the front if you were to take off your shirt, like at the pool or what have you. So I say, hey, we can start there, but just please remember that I said, hey, you might want to do all, right. all of that area. That's kind of what, right. because I want them to be happy. Well, I want them to experience that overall, wow. Right. You know? Well, and I guess to the, that point, you know, you can't go in and make a body part respond in, in right. working out. But you, but that is what we're, we're specialized in. Yes. And the areas you just spoke about, we call the dad bod makeover. Yes. And we say, and we call it that because those are the areas, mom or dad alike, right? Men, m- you know, man or woman, yes. that tends to be our most stubborn areas, right? Absolutely. And you look at guys and you say, how many crunches could you do? It's easy for us to look at moms that have children, and they the mommy makeovers are explosive. They're excited because they donated their body. The children have come, which is a blessing, but there still is areas where they're hypercritical of themselves. Absolutely. And so it's fun to watch that. But also so many husbands or or what have you or significant others say, hey, I want I want to do that. I want to jumpstart that. And people will say at around two o'clock during the day, they get that. I want to go take a nap. We see this across the board. People have the treatment done and they're like, I don't know what's happening, but I'm not as tired as one right. o'clock and two o'clock. Right. You know, you think about what our, our adipose cells do and how they regulate hormones and the pancreas. It, it serves a bigger function than we think. So when we're able to do the treatments, it's fun for me to see, hey, how has this impacted your life? You look phenomenal. Tell me, how do you feel? Yeah, yeah. Um, and so it's fun just to go, okay, our before photos are usually right before the treatment and then 90 days after. But I see a lot of people even do even better after that because they feel better. They have more energy. They become more active. Right. And that's fun. Because you know. stubborn fat really sabotages our health, Big our confidence, time. the way we look. Absolutely. All of, all of those things, right? Yes. But what is so exciting about the fact that Bell Sculpt is the equipment is yes. unique. Right. Right. That is that is the magic. Yeah. In fact, when you look at the footprint of Bell and, and how they really are exclusive in all the areas, they don't they don't have others that are that have the technology right next to them. In fact, you might be in Seattle, Washington, and there's six in the same building that have that same technology. So when you talk to the doctors, they say, well, we all treat different people. But Bell really was a leader saying, hey, we're going to come out. We see the value. We're willing to invest because we love our patients that much. And so, you know, it's really been impressive to see the footprint that Bell's created, you know, with, with you know, 10 clinics or over 10 clinics in their growth pattern because patients are searching this out. In fact, we've had people... From Russia, we've had people from France saying, hey, I'm, I'm traveling to the U.S. Where can I have this done? And it's fun to be able to, to see their results and how their experience is because they want the results. They'll travel all throughout the world just to find this technology. Because it's the most gentle but effective way to go after those stubborn fat cells, right? Yeah, right now, most people, even in, I mean, even in a, a place like Utah, if you, you were to call up anybody that's offering body sculpting with liposuction on any level – and you ask them, are you still doing traditional? 95% will say yes. They're still using 1986 technology. And I get it. They want to drive their Teslas, their P100. I I get that, but they're not investing in the patient's experience and outcomes. And so you, when you talk to those providers, they say, Hey, I just want to nip and tuck. We're completely the opposite. We want someone to be the body contouring specialist right? and focus on the, the lowest risk procedures, allow the patient the best possible outcome and that's what's kind of fun to see because we've even had, we had a doctor about 
four weeks ago that said, I don't think those results are possible. He came in and did a treatment at a clinic and said, "If I still wouldn't believe it if it wasn't me. Wow. You know, like I thought wow. you had to nip and completely cut the skin to get that kind of retraction. It's interesting that that skin can adhere back to muscle the way yes. it does. And, and that is another point is talk a little bit about how it does that so beautifully and so quickly. Perfect. So one of the key things I've found is people have asked me, even providers have said, I've used laser lipolysis machines like Smart Lipo, iLipo, Cool Lipo. Why don't I get the tightening that you do? I don't understand what's happening or traditional. And so what I try to break down to them is this. Anytime you're disrupting the fascia, there's little tiny white bands under the skin. Anytime you're severing those or causing them to be denatured through heat, whether it's ultrasounds or vase or what have you, you're going to destroy that ability for those white bands that are floating to tighten back. So what happens with this is as the whipping is going through with the, the micro instrument, it's taking a superior margin of fat, meaning a nice and even consistent amount of fat. It's not leaving a lot of leftover. And so now the fascia bands are floating and you'll have people say, hey, my, my skin kind of looks like a loose shirt. That's exactly right. But it's important we have you wear a compression garment. That compression garment allows the skin to re-adhere to the path of least immediately. resistance. Immediately. Because yeah. there's there's nothing in the way. Right. And doctors have said, okay, wait a minute. Okay, so when, when I did all those other treatments before, it was like Swiss cheese. I left so much fat left. Then I would wear compression. That was really to decrease blood and all the trauma. Exactly. Right. With this, the reason we use compression garments is actually so the skin will re-adhere at the path of least resistance. Right. And so when it adheres at the path of least resistance... I've had patients say, hey, is it normal? I'm, I'm itching all over. Well, yeah, it's healing That's underneath. Healing. Uh -huh. That's actually a really, really good sign. Right. In fact, they'll say, so does it hurt if I itch? It doesn't hurt if you itch. It's just like if you were to cut yourself on the outside. It's healing. And the reason yeah. we itch is it's to increase blood flow to the area. Right, right. So when they say, okay, so it's okay, I'm getting tightening. And I, and I usually joke with them saying, you don't know this, but half of what you want is skin tightening. Yeah. You just can't articulate it. Right. The other half is you want circumferentially right, reduced. right because you don't want excess of skin. And so the goal is, and you can see, you know, even online, some of, some of our larger patients who doctors turned away and said, you have to, you have to lose a hundred pounds. You need a nip and tuck. And they're just so fearful. They have the treatment done. And let's say they, they have four inches of overhang. Now it's only two. They're right. absolutely ecstatic It makes with only difference. two inches. Truly. They're like, this is fantastic. And this is amazing. And I didn't have to go get a hip to hip scar and go under IV or general right. sedation. And so this has completely revolutionized that as well. And so when patients say, okay, yeah, I do want to do this. I do want that skin tightening. It is fun to see later when they're like, wow, I didn't have to worry about burning because there's no heat associated with the device. I don't have to worry about these, these long protocols of healing. If someone said, James, what's your biggest issue? I would say sometimes people do a little too much. They did have a little a treatment done. It's still an in-office treatment. We want them to rest for four to six hours after the treatment. But sometimes they'll go home and clean out the garage. They overdo it. Or they'll yeah. go help a neighbor yeah. move. And I'm like, okay, hold on. Just take, <laughs> yeah, just take procedure. it easy. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah. My yeah. wish list is 24 hours. If I had my really big wish list, I'd say just take it easier for 48 hours. You know, but yeah. the goal is yeah. I don't want to see them overdo it. Right. Um, but, but, or, but they will feel good. They so feel they, really good. They want to get up and moving. Yeah. And no alcohol for 24 to 48 hours because right. that, that can cause bruising. But that's a pretty limited amount of restrictions. I mean, right. there's really not much more restrictions. A lot of people, if they have a desk job, they go back the day after and they're answering right. phones, doing whatever. Because they can. Because yep. they, can. they can. And that's a huge difference between anything else where right. they're kind of have to take a week off to recover. Right. You, you, there's so much we can go into here, which I, I love. And it's so fun to feel your energy. Um, I truly believe in what we do and why we've partnered with you in with our equipment um Absolutely. it is by far the very best way to get something permanently done to your body would you not agree absolutely and i think bell is definitely committed to the patient's experience and outcome Absolutely. more than i would say almost any of our providers we have only one provider that has six machines and that's in two facilities so that tells you something yes you know, we are very committed to making sure are. our patients come and Absolutely. they will be satisfied, and it, it works. Absolutely. We guarantee that it works, and, and from the entire experience through, it will be exactly what they thought it would be. That's perfect. So thank you for being thank with us, so James. Much, we Randy. hope to visit with you soon. We'll get to know more about. There's so much we didn't even get to talk about. Absolutely. Um, but hopefully soon. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming.